the three reversal price action pattern that has the highest probability of working out. I often get a lot of emails asking about the highest probability patterns because there are countless of patterns out there and traders want to focus on just the handful that is high probability. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick summary of the three reversal price action patterns. It is just a quick summary because I could talk for hours on each of these reversal price action patterns and I don't want this to become a very long video. In fact, I've covered all three reversal price action in depth before, so this is more of a quick cliff notes version of those videos. At the end of this video, I will link to those videos as well so you can study in greater detail any or all of the reversal price action patterns. Now, towards the end of this video, I will also throw in 3 tips to further enhance your win rate when trading with price action patterns. Most people ignore these tips and apply price action patterns wrongly. So they lose money and then conclude that it doesn't work. Well, that's because they don't understand how to use it correctly. And these 3 tips can also be applied to other price action patterns. So you definitely want to watch this video till the end. I won't promise that you will make a boatload of cash, but I can promise you that you will save lots of money in losses if you apply them. Sounds good? Now please show some support and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. We really appreciate your support and we want to reach more traders. So do leave a comment down below and let us know what other topics you want to learn more as we definitely read every single comment and do our best to create videos that best serve you. As always, we do a giveaway for every single new video and if you want to participate, look for an emoji and comment what the emoji is plus win forex signals. You can find the full instructions in the pinned comment down below. So on to the first reversal price action which I will call the non build up pattern. Pardon me because there are no official terms for this pattern, so I came up with the term myself. But let me show you what I mean. The non build up pattern is whereby we see a counter trend move that gains strength each time. So rather than seeing the retracements getting smaller and a build up for an eventual breakout, we see the opposite. Essentially, it's the opposite of an ascending or descending triangle. An ascending or descending triangle hints at a possible breakout as buyers or sellers are entering in at a worse price each time. But for this non build up pattern, the opposite is true. We see price making a stronger counter trend move each time price hits the level. This is one of the strongest signs of a reversal. Let me show you another example to illustrate the non build up pattern further. Here we have price hitting resistance. But look what happens when price hits the resistance each time. The sell off gets stronger and stronger as measured by the distance of the sell off before the price pulls back to the level. Watch what happens to price eventually. The resistance holds and price made a reversal. In short, if you see that each bounce gets stronger off the level, that's a clue that price is about to reverse. Moving on to the second reversal price action. This is my favorite and I've previously talked a lot about this. So you definitely want to pay close attention and stick around. This second reversal price action is actually institutional buying and selling. If you want more in-depth information about this pattern, I will leave a link at the top right and at the end screen of this video. But in this video, let me just go over a quick overview of what institutional buying and selling looks like and show you a couple of examples. You can also combine this with the non build up pattern covered earlier. This is an example of institutional buying and also a strong sign that the market is likely to reverse. Rather than forming a corrective structure, price rally impulsively. And here's another example of institutional selling. Watch how price reacts off the level and eventually reverses. To help you qualify these as institutional buying or selling, you can use the three factors which I previously covered. Number one, time spent at the level, and this deals with how long price spends at the level. The shorter, the better, because it shows that institutional traders 
are buying or selling heavily off the level. I do go into the specifics of how much time is too much time using the rule of 6 but I won't go into that in this video. Number 2, strength of departure which deals with how fast price moves away from the level. And number 3, minimum base to distance ratio which deals with a set amount of distance price must travel in order to validate it as institutional buy or selling. As you can see, there are a lot of small details in the three factors and that's why I've previously talked about it extensively. So do check out those videos next because spotting institutional buy and sell can help you pinpoint reverses with high accuracy. Moving on to the last high probability reversal price action, this pattern is a pattern that can help you catch market tops and bottoms with a tight stop loss. So keep watching if you are a person who likes to catch market tops and bottom. This pattern is the false break pattern that looks something like this. As the name suggests, it is a fake break of a key support and resistance level. Price appears to break the level and trap in breakout traders, only to reverse the other way. My favorite way of trading this false break pattern is in the direction of the main trend. Suppose that price is trending up and starts doing a retracement downwards. So we have the main trend as bullish but the short term immediate trend as bearish. And when a false break happens to the downside which traps sellers, that's my favorite way of trading this pattern. Basically, I'm looking to trade a reversal of the retracement or rather a reversal of the reversal if that makes sense. So here's the three reversal price action patterns that I've covered. The non-build up pattern, institutional buying or selling and the false break. As promised, at the start of this video, I will provide three tips to further enhance your win rate when trading with price action. If you made it to this part, you really don't want to miss out this portion because you can apply them to all price action patterns, not just these three. The first tip is not to trade every single of these reversal price action patterns. Yes, these patterns are high probability, but you don't want to trade every single pattern you see. You have to consider the overall context. Price action is part of your trading strategy. It should not be your entire trading strategy. So what I mean is that suppose you want to focus on the pin bar price action. Do not start looking for every single pin bar and start trading. Instead, you can use the pin bar as your entry trigger after you have already established your trading direction as per your trading plan. If you do not currently have a trading strategy, this YouTube channel has many of them so check them out and pick one. But again, I will reiterate that a price action pattern should not be your entire strategy. The second tip is to lean towards higher time frames. Why? Because if the higher time frame is bullish and you are trying to catch a reversal to the downside in the H1, that's going to be low probability. And even if you are right, you will not make much money since the higher time frame is against you. So we are talking about taking on more risk for a smaller reward. It doesn't make sense. So lean towards the higher time frames. And the last tip that I have for you is to use reversal patterns to enter into trend continuation place. I know this sounds a little confusing, so pay close attention. Recall earlier when I mentioned about my favorite way to trade false breakouts. So you can use reversal patterns to enter into an existing trend. When you see a counter trend retracement happening, that's when you can look for a reversal of the counter trend with the view that price resumes its dominant trend. Here's an example of what I mean. We have the main trend here and price starts to correct. So rather than trying to pick the top and profit from the retracement, we look for signs of a reversal of the retracement. So hopefully this is clear, but please go ahead to leave a comment down below seeking clarification if I wasn't clear. 
My team does read every single comment and will do their best to address your questions. And that's it for this video. I hope that you apply this because it takes a lot of effort to produce such videos. So I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. Do remember to comment with the emoji plus forex signals if you wish to enter yourself into our giveaway. The winner will be announced in the next video. So turn on the notification bell and check to see if you have won. I will leave the link to the video on how to identify institutional buying or selling here. That's the video I recommend checking out next if you want to get the most out of the institutional buy or selling reversal price action that I covered in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.